we're back here today at Smoke Trailer with Brad, and we are going to do a little work with some plastic lumber. What are we doing today, Brad? All right, well, we got a uh, six by 10 trailer. A uh, customer hates replacing woods, done it a lot, and so I recommended it, uh, since he's using this as like a daily use kind of trailer, that uh, he um, actually put plastic lumber, which is amazing. It's grippier than uh, the steel, grippier than the uh, wood, and uh, I mean, it's lifetime warranty. It stuff just looks great, especially on a gray trailer black that I have you know there's lots of colors so you can mix and match them and so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna put some of this uh, on the trailer and wrap it up today awesome so we're gonna go show you how to do that and also we're gonna go over just a few features that you gain by upgrading to the plastic lumber go, go. so Brad's taking these right out of his stock uh, there's the, the smoke trailer name right there so he keeps these in stock so whenever somebody wants some as you can see you can easily store this product outside um, that's that's what it's made for it's just like your plastic detergent bottles and things of that nature so brad's cutting the ends of these off he is going to save these because he can use those on dovetail trailers a lot he's going to work these in here he already has a metal strap right here that he's going to install over the end up here of the trailer through here so that'll cover up that that edge and just make it look more like the back more aesthetically pleasing Brad for some time and this is kind of his uh, work mode here. When he's in work mode he is get it quick. There's no reason to be lagging around or or anything. It's it's time to get it done. Does that sound about right Brad? Oh yeah. And Brad is also pretty much used to working alone. He gets it all figured out. Brad, we don't even need to screw these down, do we? Nope. Heavy. No need to. It's lay really flat. A dovetail might, but uh, it's not necessary. So, um, if you look at the other trailer video with the pressure washer that I did, um, I did not have a strap over the top of this, nor did I slide it into a C channel in the back. I, I bolted down one cross member in the front or joist, and one in the back, and good to go. Okay, we're back here at Brad's shop, Smoke Trailers, and we're going to weld on that uh, strap piece and throw on a couple bolts. This thing's going to be done. Actually, we've got to do a little bit of finish work to the plastic. We'll show you how that works. That stuff is uh, great for welding up straps because it doesn't burn like wood does when you're welding on top of it. So that's one of the things I love about this. I won't get anything, but yeah, safer.
So Brad, do you use the same method when you're doing traditional wood lumber? Oh yeah, it's the exact same. This what? cuts the same, it uh, you know drills in the same. I mean, so, it, it's all the same. So, but you put this strap here on with the wood as well. I do. So in however many years, four or five years, they need to replace the wood lumber. How do you, how do you get the wood out? Uh, you've got to, on these trailers, you usually take the front strap out um, some of them know you have to take the back strap out to get everything up, and depending on how uh, um, you do it, you can take a cut section out of here and then uh, remove them. Problem is, these screws will almost always rust um, with wood trailers because of the, the water getting in and it retaining the water. So you have to cut out almost every single one. The easiest part about putting wood on uh, or redoing wood is removing the wood. The hardest part is removing the screws in the wood. So with this, even if you did have to replace it, which you don't, the screws won't go bad and rust. So. What, what, would the, what would be the price to, like, somebody brought this trailer in that you built for them, they did it in wood, and they want the wood removed and just new wood put in, what would that cost? Depends a lot on how the trailer was built. It's built as simple as this, where it's a strap, it's going to be around 315, 330. Uh, if I have any problems with the rust, just like when I'm working on a car and it's got a lot of rust in it, uh, I'm going to end up charging them more like 450 So this price justifies, uh, you know, uh, buying the uh, plastic lumber just one time having to replace wood on a trailer. So plastic lumber would be a little bit less expensive than the having... second go around, basically. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, so that's why I try to get people, particularly who are redoing floors, don't go through this pain again. Get plastic lumber and you'll be good to go. Okay, Brad has gone through and touched up the welds with the, the gray paint. And we are now ready to do the final step, and that is doing the finishing technique. And that's basically just spraying it down with the garden hose. Hey, we just finished up a uh, plastic lumber trailer. It's a great way to not have to replace wood uh, and uh, it justifies the expense after even just one wood replacement. Uh, Mama Pear and Denton, Brad with Smoke Trailers. Do custom trailer jobs, the more custom, the more fun. Website smoked.org.